Last week, I shot a Pocket Now Insider video called Michael Fisher's Top 5 Windows Phone Apps. And at the end of that video, I asked you to provide some feedback, some app suggestions of your own. And you sure did. We received so many submissions, thank you for those, by the way, that we thought it'd make sense to whip up another video showcasing your most referenced Windows Phone applications. So here it is. I'm Michael Fisher, this is Pocket Now, and these are your top five most referenced Windows Phone apps. So one of the apps I called out in my first video was called Connectivity Shortcuts, a simple array of start screen toggles for Bluetooth, Wi-Fi, and so on. Well, in a testament to just how much the Windows Phone user base wants and uses these features, the commenters responded with loud praise for not one, but two alternatives to connectivity shortcuts called Quick Settings and Insider Pro. Both offer the same basic functionality as connectivity shortcuts, but with much cleaner iconography and a few extra features like flashlight and music muting in the case of Quick Settings. Now, Insider Pro is the more impressive example with a much broader feature set. It offers the same toggle-based approach as all the rest, but it places them smartly in a vertical dock along the left side of the app, leaving room for some useful enhancements. These include a detailed battery and system info screen, showing charge time remaining, available storage, and network status, a quick shortcut to Bing's image of the day, and a curious but pretty phone database showing all Windows phones currently available from every manufacturer, as well as their specifications. Now, between Insider and Quick Settings, I tend to like Quick Settings badge indicators better, but as an all-in-one kind of title, Insider Pro definitely offers more, which is no surprise considering it's $1.29 for the paid version, but it's definitely worth it. Windows Phone users certainly are starved for system info by the Metro UI's Spartan layout, so maybe it's no surprise that our third most often recommended title is another system utility, the simply named Battery. It's free to download, but you can make an in-app donation to the developer if you want the annoying banner ads gone. Now, on its surface, this may just seem like a way to get a power percentage on your home screen, and it works pretty well for that. But battery also brings some more detailed power consumption figures, like estimated time till shutdown, discharge speed, and time off charger. Plus some pretty awesome graphs and charts if you're more a visual learner than a numbers geek. Not to be left behind in the Switches game, of course, there's also that familiar ribbon of system toggles along the bottom of the screen, making this app a lot like Insider. But the extra battery info makes it worth a separate download if you're trying to troubleshoot power loss or if you've just got storage to burn. Thankfully, the life of a Windows Phone user isn't all system utilities, and the last two apps in our pile are decidedly more fun. The first, MyTube, is a 99-cent YouTube client that many of you told me was better even than my preferred MetroTube. I tried it out this week, and in a lot of ways, you're right. MyTube is a slick title, with a sliding panel interface that lets you surf comments and related titles while the video still plays underneath in the background. The comments don't always load consistently, which is kind of annoying, but when it works, it works beautifully. Plus, MyTube brings the ability to save videos for later viewing, as well as a great feature for music fans or listeners of podcasts like the Pocket Now Weekly Podcasts. That's the end of this shameless plug. You can set videos to continue playing when the app is in the background. So the audio continues coming through while you do something else. And it can even play the audio from behind the lock screen, which is awesome. That alone is probably worth the dollar to most folks, but... The slick interface and the responsive build really seals the deal. You guys were right. My tube rocks. We've saved the most involved title for last. When I told you in last week's video to try out Photor, I thought that was an elaborate photo editing application. And it is. But elaborate doesn't come close to describing Fantasia Painter. There is a free version available, but I went ahead and paid the buck 99 to unlock the full bevy of features, and uh, it is a bevy. Now, yes, you can doodle and paint on a blank canvas with your fingers, and there's a lot of options for that, but I don't know, I've never found that particularly compelling on a stylus-free device, so my favorite thing to do in Fantasia Painter is to edit photos. There are so many options, you're gonna wanna sit down and, and learn this app like you might learn a new gadget. It's that complex. 
but it's laid out intelligently, you just need to get used to it. The array of effects options never seems to stop, allowing you to apply layers, shift colors, and even manually manipulate or distort images. So you can transform a pretty photo like this into a horror show like this. Or, you know, do something actually worthwhile, like make a portrait better. Like balance colors, like remove red eye, apply HDR, and, and like I said, it never stops. It's amazing. Some of Fantasia Painter's deluxe features might actually make you feel like you need a degree in photography to understand at first, but it's also really nice to know that whatever you might need to do to a photo, you can do. And given enough time, it can look good. This is one title that Lumia 1020 and 1520 owners, especially with their outstanding cameras, should seriously consider trying out. If you missed that earlier Windows Phone app video, folks, go and check it out. It's still up at our channel page. And subscribe so you don't miss future videos from Pocket Now. If you want additional Windows Phone coverage, we just reviewed the Lumia 1520, the monster phablet out of Nokia. Go check that out if you haven't already. And be sure and follow us on our social media networks where we talk entirely too much, I'm sure. In the meantime, this has been Michael Fisher with Pocket Now. Thank you again for watching, and we'll see you soon.